Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking broccoli and chicken stir fry. So let's start cooking. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking Chinese broccoli and chicken stir fry. So let's start cooking. Today we'll be cooking Chinese broccoli and chicken stir fry. So let's start cooking. We are going to start by marinating the chicken pieces. This is one piece of chicken thigh, approximately 280 grams, cut into small pieces like this. We are going to add in one tablespoon of light soy sauce, half a tablespoon of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of Chinese cooking wine or Shao Xing Jiu. Now if you do not take alcohol, you can actually omit this, doesn't matter. One teaspoon of sesame oil and dashes of pepper. Mix this up well first. And now we'll add in one and a half tablespoon of corn flour. Mix this up well and leave them in the fridge to marinate for at least an hour. I'll see you back in a while. And now we'll start to stir fry our broccoli chicken. You need to heat up a pan Add in a little bit of oil because we need to fry the garlic and ginger. Swirl the oil around. Put in approximately 5 grams of ginger sliced thinly like this. I'm using medium heat over here. 4 cloves of garlic chopped. Put it in. Start frying for a while. When you smell the fragrance that's coming out from the garlic as well as the ginger, we'll add in 1 cup of water. We are putting one whole carrot, this approximately 180 grams, kind of chunks like this. Okay, just put them in. We need to soften this up. So we are going to cover this up and let them boil for approximately 5 to 8 minutes. 5 minutes is up, let's have a look. I think they are pretty soft already. I'll be adding in my chicken now. Make sure they are at room temperature before you put them in. Once you put them in, start stirring. You don't want them to clump together because there's corn flour inside here. Can turn up the heat a little bit. Now it becomes too much of a starch, just add a little bit of water, it's fine. Just maybe two tablespoons or so. Now we are going to add in the seasoning. One and a half tablespoon of oyster sauce. Two tablespoons of light soy sauce. Okay, stir this up first. You want the color to be a little bit darker, so I'm adding in one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Stir it in. Now the chicken is approximately 80% done. We're adding our broccoli now. These 370 grams of broccoli, you put them in now. Put the lid on. And we'll steam them for approximately 30 seconds or so because I like my broccoli crunchy. We can reduce the heat a little bit now. I've steamed them for about 15 seconds. I'm just going to give them a stir again. Smells really good. So put the lid back on and we'll steam this for another about 30 to 40, 50 seconds. 40 seconds is up. Let's have a look. Right, I love my broccoli to be crunchy, so thus this is the way that I want it to be. Just give this a stir again. And to finish this off, you put in one tablespoon of Shao Xing Jiu or Chinese cooking wine. Just run them by the side and mix them up well. Turn up the heat a little bit. We want to reduce the sauce. And this is smelling so good. We're almost done, another about 10 seconds or so. We just want the broccoli to be able to absorb this beautiful sauce. And we have to make sure that the chicken are fully cooked too. Okay, the broccoli is soft ready and the chicken are done. So it's time to serve this dish. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Tiga, do you want? Tiga. I know you want.
Mm. Broccoli is crunchy, just as how I like it to be. Let's try the chicken. Cook just nice. It absorbs the taste of this sauce really, really well. Carrots. Mmm. Very sweet. This goes extremely well with steamed rice. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.